I will say the only thing I can see right now though is your profile. Oh, yeah, the on. screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the screen that you're sharing. It's just like your profile photo image with a tan background. What? Okay, let's uh, let's redo that. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. Is that to Twitch? <laughs> did you just start streaming to Twitch? Oh, wait. <laughs> Almost did. I see. Right now, you see my screen, right? No, I just see your profile again. Really? Mm-hmm. Or are you not choosing my screen? Uh. Oh, here we go. Watch stream. <laughs> I just... Before we start the video, thank you for the 1,000 subs. Keep it up, everyone. Get me to 10,000. I really appreciate all your support, and to celebrate, I've made a special video for you guys. I've also been updating a lot of my links, so now if you'd like to suggest some songs for me to make, it's easier than ever. You can also easily find me in all the platforms that I have through this link tree that I've made. I've made so many songs over the past 4 years, and I'm sure you guys don't want to scroll down in all 94 videos just to look for that one song. Don't worry. I've got you covered. I recently launched my Fairly Music database. The database is divided by song titles, artists, and any special albums I've released. It's kind of a work in progress for now. Most of the thumbnails are not here yet, but I'll be updating it frequently. All the songs are here though, so you can totally just go check it out right now. Links are in the description and in the pinned comment. Also, I'd like to apologize for the audio quality for this video, especially for Mary's audio because we're a whole day apart. Like, I am here in Indonesia and Mira is out there in the US and Mira is a normal person. She's not a sound person like me who has an actual mic. However, I try to caption things and edit it so it'd be easier to listen to and understand. But you guys can guess just how bad Discord's quality is, especially if you're on two ends of the globe. I've decided to divide the video into two parts. This is the first part and the second part will be on next week. Hopefully I can finish editing the second part by then. Because it turns out we took way too long recording because this first part took us two and a half hours and we don't have a lot of time especially with the time zones difference and everything so yeah okay i won't take up more of your time now so please enjoy the video hello everyone welcome back to my channel so we, today we have a guest this very special guest i came up with a very very special introduction okay okay mirror mirror on the wall that's all I got. That's all I wrote down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me one assignment and I failed it already. So. <laughs> okay, everyone, this is Mirror. Hi. She's my friend. We met on Discord and we never met in real life. I don't know. How long has it been? Two years? Uh, well, I've been back stateside for two years, so it's probably been at least three now. Oh, wow. It's three years. Time. Time is an illusion. Mirror here has a little bit of understanding about K-pop, but you are not not like me, right? No, um, I'm going to apologize in advance because last time I was really into K-pop. Let's see. I think it was like G-Idol and seven, uh, Shiny BAP. Oh, oh well, that's very long. I thought I had a chance of sounding confident today because I thought it was Stray Kids. I forgot we was 17, so. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly why I chose 17, because you don't really know them since we barely have any normal conversation. True. We are going to do this in a little bit of a unhinged, at least in our unhinged way, because I don't know if the audience thinks this is unhinged. <laughs> Probably also accurate. Like I said before, I'll show you all these slides that I've made, these beautiful, beautiful slides that I did in Canva. And by the end of it, you can make a tier list. Okay. And by the end of it, we'll compare to what I just made. Like, literally, I just made because I forgot to make the tier list last night. You were so prepared in everything else. The tier list is based on the craziness. Okay. The top one is basically from another world. And then there we have top tier crazy. And we have pretty crazy that's like in the middle. Depends on the day, you know, sometimes they're normal, sometimes they're kind of crazy. And then we have pretty normal. Well, according to me, there is no normal person in 17. But I mean, I made this in case you think that someone is pretty normal. And yeah. Is there normal people in the world, period? I don't think there is a normal people in the world. <laughs> what we consider normal is just a social construct. It's not real. Fact. 
Okay, so initially I wanted to give a short video, but I kind of I kind of hit myself on the foot because it turns out I have to collect a lot more videos than I thought. So I didn't make the 30 second uh, 17 video. I decided to just move on and start <laughs> introducing 17. So this is 17, as you can see. There is a lot of members, and that's exactly why I chose 17. More chaos. I also love that there's apparently 13 members for 17. Exactly. And this is the most perfect time to explain that. I know that you guys, you are going to be confused because there's 13 members plus four that barely ever performs with them oh okay wait where's my mouse okay so here we have the first one is isugun and then we have na pd he's also a guy from variety but this time he's a producer for like a variety show <laughs> and then we have <laughs> kento yamazaki he's the japanese 17 member and the last one we have bumzu i was gonna say i was like kento sounds japanese <laughs> okay so <laughs> Do you actually believe me that there's four members who never perform with them? You know, I, I, I don't know what to believe at this point. So you know what? Um, guiding me. I am the lost lamb in the dark. I will believe anything you say. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a joke between carrots. Because everyone keeps on asking, like, why is 17 only 13 members? Just like, what you did before. And I knew that you are going to ask that, so I did this. <laughs> but you already prepared. Also, did you call everybody else carrots? We're going to go there. So the first guy, Sugun, he's like what I said, he's a variety dude. He's on Knowing Bros or I, I forgot the actual Korean name, but in English, we call it Knowing Bros. And in like one episode, there was this like competition to become a 17 member and he was the 13th member. Oh. And like one guy from 17 didn't make it into like the cut. He basically didn't like pass to become a 17 member and he passed. And so it's been like a running joke for all of us fans that he's the 14th member. Okay. Unofficially all in our hearts. And then Na PD here, he's a really good friend of 17. So like he has a lot of like variety shows. There's like the game carders and the one that 17's been in because like a reward. There's a, like a long history between the, the 17 and Na PD. They become like really, really close. And in one of the varieties, it's called Na Na Tour. They went to Italy with Na PD here. Mm. It's like a vacation uh, kind of variety. Oh. And Kenya Yamazaki is actually, I don't know if he's an actor or like a singer from Japan. So there is this like fan war on Twitter. I don't get why there's fan wars, but you know, there is a fan war on Twitter. And some people said, oh, Seventeen has Japanese members so that they're, that's why they're popular in Japan, right? Seventeen has no Japanese members, by the way. Right. And then the, our fans were like, you know what? Yeah, Kento Yamazaki, you're officially 17 you're the 17th member you're like the 14th member the japanese member so honorary badge bumzu here bumzu is one of their main producers since like debut so 17 is self-producing but they obviously mm. like need help from outside right they can't just produce themselves producing a song is really hard you gotta have like a lot of teams i was gonna say that's actually pretty impressive uh yeah so bumzu has been like a really core quote unquote member of 17 because he's been producing with one of the members which i will talk about later because you know i don't want spoilers right he's appeared in i think literally every single 17 songs except the solo songs right if it's a group song i think bumzu is in every single one of them i i don't know though but every time i make a cover of 17 bumzu is there he's lurking in the background the real reason is that there are three members plus three units, right? There's vocal, hip hop, and performance units. So that makes 16 mm. and one team. So that's 17. Uh... They are self producing. So initially, when they debut, even till today, actually, they make their own songs, they produce their own songs. And back then, they make their own choreography. Oh, nice. Basically, like their debut was, they're not sure when they're going to debut. And they were like, fine, I'll do it myself, Thanos' way, you know? I kind of want to show you some of them, okay. their performance, but we can do that in the end. They're basically the synchronization kings of K pop. Even till oh, today. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen some of those videos, actually. I was going to say, they do, like, a camera or, like, a 
what the heck are they? Like the AI evaluation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The AI evaluation based on synchronization. Like they put yeah. like a lot of disclaimers, but 17 was like on the top every time. Okay, so moving on. Carrot. So now you see why I say it's Carrot. I do understand now. Because it's a fandom name. But funny thing, there was this one time Pledis kind of did a typo. They didn't type Carrot, they typed actual carrots, like the vegetable carrots. Yeah, so like at that time, carrots were like, well, you know what? We can be a vegetable. Next. Okay, we're getting into the the members. Escoops is the leader of Seventeen, and also the leader of the hip hop unit. Oh, so he's like double leader. Yeah, he's like two leaders. Carrots are literally quite scared of him. Not in like a very menacing and like scary way. He's not. He doesn't look very scary, as you can see. There's just one time there was a concert in Indonesia. And it was a, another fandom, which I will not mention. <laughs> Cut that right out. Uh, in Indonesian, we call it rusuh, but it's not rioting. Because rusuh is riot. It's kind of like chaotic and until the point where, you know, there's like barricades in a concert. The barricades fell down. And then yeah. like they were comparing it to like Seventeen's concert from Be The Sun on Twitter. They were like, yeah, because like we're scared of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're scared of this guy. There's no way we'd there's no way we'd riot. There's no way we'd be chaotic because this guy is there. Like one look from him, we'd be like, okay, okay, sir. Okay. He's gonna scold you all if you misbehave. Okay, next. He is the strongest member. Now you can see exactly the one of the reasons why we're scared of him. He is the strongest member. How much can he bench press? I don't think that information is public. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it would be dangerous information. He likes to sulk. A lot. So he's a yandre. <laughs> Next up, he probably has... Okay, this is now solidifying the yandere thing. <laughs> I only see more evidence. He likes to sulk. He has anger issues. Who knows? He might be an actual yandere. Oh, what totally they... Okay, <laughs> this is getting weirder. <laughs> Camel? You'll see later. This is kind of hard to explain, but you'll see later. Okay. The saga of Asparagus and the Escoops game. So Escoops, his name mm -hmm. in Korea is uh, it's pronounced Escoops, and that's like four syllables, right? Mm. And apparently Koreans have a hard time because this is a foreign word saying Escoops, and so they kind of like misread it and mispronounce it as like a lot of things. One of them is asparagus because it's also four syllables. You know, they're going with the vegetable theme already. Okay, here we are, the video, which I hope you can see. This is a game where they had to like, what is it called uh, in the fist thing? Oh, no. um. One hour later. Arm wrestle. Yeah, arm wrestling. God, I speak English. It should not have taken me that long. Also, yeah, I was gonna say, the guy in the middle looks completely dumbfounded. <laughs> oh, you'll see later, why? <laughs> Dear God. So he does, he does like kind of get disappointed at people if they don't wish him happy birthday at 12 a.m. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Zero, zero, one. Uh, one of them, one of the members said that if he would wait at 12 a.m. of, I think it was 8th of August. No. Wait, yeah, it was 8th of August. I, I suck at birthdays. <laughs> 8th of August, 12, zero, zero, 7th of August. He would wait. And then zero zero one, when nobody said anything, he would like send "Hey birthday" to me. <laughs> if I hold him back. Immediately. No hesitation. I mean, I don't see any different. It's the same video. I don't understand.
This is Jong An, the second member. He is probably a visual number three, but we don't talk about visuals in Seventeen.、Uh, I will, however, say that he is visual number one for me because he's the reason why I love androgynous people. Valid. <laughs> he, ha- he used to have long hair. Wait, I think you've showed me pictures of him before. Yes, I did. I there is no way I haven't because I show that to everyone. Okay, he likes to prank the members a lot. He he's so nice. He's called an angel, but he pranks everyone. Loki. He's actually very smart. Like officially, probably the smartest member in Seventeen, the best liar you could possibly ever encounter. Yeah, I don't think that needs any explanation. He's a Slytherin. He he、uh, sorts himself into a Ravenclaw because he's smart, right? But he's quite literally a Slytherin, and you will see why. Everyone is always sus of him. Oh, his hair looks so good. What product does he use? Does he win something by fooling them? No, he just wants to do it. He's like anything for victory. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's only gonna hit one cone technically, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we'll accept.、Whoa. Next member, I think we have one more or two more members. Is Joshua? He's from his vocal unit, and he calls himself a gentleman. Gentleman, kind of looks like Baby Girl. Not gonna lie. <laughs> L.A. is Joshua. So Joshua is from the American line. He's from L.A.、Mm-hmm. He thinks he's a calm person. Okay, but like. Behind camera, he probably is. In front of camera, we only know him in front of camera, right? He's a little less than calm. Oh, <laughs> he's more than that. Once he's committed to an idea, he will literally move mountains, especially doing like variety and like for comedy. He is the epitome of do it for the vine. That's it, rap. Uh, vocal unit, but he raps. Nice. People say that he's no nose. He's the most normal member. Um, I digress, but you will see. Oh my gosh! I like how they all just like collapse on the ground in background. Oh, this is um、uh, one of their variety. Going seventeen, rice is a very staple ingredient of food in our culture.、Mm. You know, I don't know that I know that actually. That's new information to me. Yeah, it's not like you lived in Japan for like how many years? <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I like that he treated it like he was a model, though. I mean, like, he is, but like dumps water, pulling his hair back, like he's coming out of the the lake or something. This is June. He is a performance unit, and、uh, "bakso" means clap in Korean, because every time he、mm. does something, Jongan, the second oldest member, would say "bakso," and everyone would clap. <laughs> so he's the first Chinese member.、Mm. He's super junior. He chose son. I was gonna say that guy's not old enough to have a son. <laughs> exactly. No, he's not old enough to have this old son. <laughs> this old、exactly. guy. If like it's. A little guy, then maybe you would believe it. But like, this is an old guy. He would, he too would have to be fourteen, and that's not okay. I do not condone that. <laughs> We do not condone that here on this channel. He has a very unique personality in like a very good way, but also very unique.、Um, martial arts,、uh, you know, Chinese member, right? Yeah. Because <laughs>、yeah. the other Chinese member can do martial arts, and he can do martial arts. I don't know if I put it in the video, but I have the footage. I think he's just very funny, and I love him very much. No personal bias on that slide at all. Which one is which?、Uh, <laughs> this is June. I like the Control Z, Control V. Exactly. This is、uh, this is June. I think this is June, right? So, oh yeah, this is June. This is Hicho. <laughs> <laughs> He's entranced. Is the grass like a connotation of laughing? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. Oh wait, no, I don't remember. This grass, right? I think it's 
Is it Japanese um, or is it Spanish? Where they do that? Like, they do, like, a bunch of W's next to each other? No, to show it's not like... They're laughing, oh. but that looks like a bunch of grass blades? I don't think so. I think this is So Shijak. then people would just start putting emojis. Yeah, um... As part oh look, Asparagus cave. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, now I need to know. Hold on. One hour later. Oh, we're down I think in this hole now. Is it, why? Is it yeah, like... it is a Japanese way of laughing. Oh, is it? Or maybe it's because of Cultural this. Cultural learning. Maybe it's because of this mirror. Look at this up here. Oh, I just found out. <laughs> Details, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, we completely missed that. Um, We're so smart. Everyone who likes to eat spicy food loves to brag, including myself. I'm too white. <laughs> Listen, I try spices. They're really good, but they kill me. Okay, next member. Performance unit leader. <laughs> Tiger. Right. So Hoshi is Horangi. She is she something means like Horangi is tiger, so like eyes of tiger, because like he has the tiger's gaze when he performs. Oh. But he totally does believe he's a tiger. <laughs> Horang he, like you can see. Uh, there are people in Seventeen that doesn't like the fact that he thinks he's a tiger. Uh, and they're like in the anti-tiger squad, <laughs> and so they kind of like hate Horang he. And they and the A, uh, the one before would say non saramia Horangianya, which means like you are a person, you're not a tiger. He would disagree. Okay, have you ever seen that vine? The guy who thinks he's a wolf. A leopard. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> Head empty, only tigers. Yeah, he... Um, I don't want to say that he's a stupid. Because I don't think anyone is stupid. I think some people have their own strengths and weaknesses. But educational-wise, maybe not the brightest. But, you know, he's a great dancer. He's a great uh, performer and everything else. Or at least, you know, he doesn't show that he can in front of camera. Head empty. Only tigers. He's a huge fan of Shiny. Hey. He's attention seeker. At least in variety, he's an attention seeker, but in the best the best way possible. It's a little brother energy. Oh yeah, that's such a great way to like describe him. If Hoshi actually makes songs. <laughs> And he is, oh, BSS is Seventeen's funny unit, along with two others. And he's the rapper and also the main dancer. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> What about you just killing? Wonu, hip hop unit. He's a rapper and that that one glasses guy. He doesn't have glasses here, but he wears glasses. He's like he actually does perform sometimes with his glasses. He has a really really deep voice. Insomnia Zero is one of the going seventeen episodes where one of them sleeps and then they have like a heart rate monitor and then you talk about them. A lot of funny memes came out of there. Bittersweet <laughs> is his and Mingyu another member's song and there's this one scene where it became a meme. Also, he's a gamer like us except he's actually good he has like gaming streams with carrots in weavers so like he visits carrots like animal crossing worlds and plays fall guys he plays a lot of stuff and he's <laughs> there's a quote he's too handsome not to be an idol because he's an introvert and he's very like reserved is it oh oh shoot uh <laughs> he yeah spoilers <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. 
네. 그게 비밀이야. It's my secret. Yeah. Such a silent threat, honestly. Sweet. Oh. Yeah. He looks like a different person with glasses. glasses. Immediately. <laughs> I like that that's the one thing they've taken from it. Uh, I think it's like they were playing the buktoguri. I don't know. Uh, the thing where you make a ball fall and then you hit it with your like ankles. Do you know that? I have no idea what you're talking about. You sound like someone who's in the kitchen trying to rage quit. <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> Did you say a ball? Ball, ball, ball. A ball. <laughs> Suddenly, this makes no so wonder. Much sense. No wonder it was like ball kitchen. Oh, <laughs> ball. I was so confused. A ball. ball. Yeah, like yeah, a small yeah, okay. ball. Like like soccer players. Oh, hacky sack. Ah, yeah, yeah, hacky sack. I think. Okay. <laughs> wow, that took a while to get there. Last guy before we take a break. Woozy, vocal unit leader, also the main producer. I don't know why this isn't animated, but who cares anyway? <laughs> he doesn't know what the street in front of his house looks like. It's mentioned this one time in like the Nana tour. Woozy rarely leaves his house. He doesn't even know what the street in front of his house looks like. Woozy is the producer, the main producer, along with Bumzu in Seventeen, which is why before this I I was searching up did he compose Illit because like he composes a lot of songs even outside of Seventeen. He is our height in bench height benchmark in K-pop. He's like a one sixty four centimeters around. He's as tall as all of us. So if you want to know how tall you are compared to like the guys, just look for a picture with him besides someone. And then you'll know. Working out is my life. Oh gosh. 17 is made for Yeah. He makes a song in three days. He actually does though. He does make a song very quickly. I think it's because one, he does have a talent, but he's also so used to doing it. So like it's a lot faster now. He's very to the point. He also probably does have anger issues, but I don't know why I chose this. Uh, <laughs> I think it was back then he gets killed first in every mafia game drone song so every time I don't think I have the footage of this because there's too much of Woozy getting angry um, in going 17 every time there's like a drone he always sings that song everyone would sing that to it it's become like the Woozy drone song <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay oh 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 spoiler oh, for gosh. next week <laughs> yeah so um that is <laughs> woozy yeah so woozy is uri jihun jihun is his real name uh, now to do things let's start s coops where do you think he is i feel like <sighs> can you go back to a slide for me he's the oh yeah he's yandere okay <laughs> I'm gonna go with pretty crazy for him because I feel like he's got his moments for sure, but he's still got the leader energy in him a little bit. So he kind of has to rein it in. I'm not sure that he really likes having to do that, but like he's he's got to have some level headedness in order to rule the rest of the crazies. Next up, Jongan. Definitely top tier crazy. So you crazy because of the pranks? Partially because of the pranks, but he was, he's, mm, well, I guess it is all because of the pranks. <laughs> but it's how well he does all the pranks. Ah, right. I think he can even pranks. pull himself. Probably. Joshua. I think he needs to be in pretty crazy. Oh, he's in pretty crazy. Yeah. Mostly just because he tries to play off his crazy as more demure. It's kind of like more of a persona, camera persona. Exactly. He thinks he's calm, but he's actually crazy. But his actual crazy is still presented in a way that he thinks is presenting it as calm. Soon. Okay, I'm going to go top tier. And I also think uh, we should put Joshua at the top of Pretty Crazy. Oh, okay, I see. Why is Jin in top tier crazy? You know... It's just the vibes. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. It's just the vibes. He just... I can't... There's there's no good explanation for it. Hoshi! I don't even have to think about this one. Put him <laughs> to the very top. Oh, even the... <laughs> The picture here is like, hold on here. He does not need any explanation, no. Yeah. 
tiger guy. And he's very funny. Bono. Tasty. I feel like he is... Oh, man. Okay. This one's hard because I feel like he's a depends on the day. Mm -hmm. But on the days he's crazy, he's top tier. So, like, I don't know where to put that. <laughs> Let's put him at the bottom of pretty crazy. Oh, because okay. then pretty that crazy. puts him exactly in the middle, actually. Oh, okay, perfect. I love that everyone here is like the archery and up. Nobody is normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because Woozy's next, nobody's still gonna be normal. Where is Woozy? Um, he's basically from another world. <laughs> That's so big. I think Hoshi is first. I think Hoshi's still first. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that chaotic display of Feli and Mira being dumb and dumber sometimes. I'll be working on more videos like this in the future. I've also tried live streaming a few weeks ago and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So I might start doing that more frequently in the future. Although with YouTube's copyright system and stuff, I probably won't be able to stream working on the covers but we'll figure something out as per usual like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you'd like to support me directly you can buy me a coffee once again thank you for the 1000 subscribers it's been a really great pleasure being in this channel